Good day, and thank you for joining us in another MYOB Advanced Training video. In this video, we will have a look at warehouses and warehouse locations. Warehouses and warehouse locations can be set in many different ways in MYOB Advanced. They can be fine-tuned to suit your business processes. You can use a single warehouse or configure multiple warehouses. Within each warehouse, you can define a single location or configure multiple locations. To use multiple warehouses, the multiple warehouse feature must be enabled. To use multiple warehouse locations, this feature must also be enabled on the Enable Disabled Feature form. In MYB Advanced, a warehouse is not necessarily a physical building where inventory is stocked. You can divide a large storage space into multiple areas and define each area as a warehouse. A warehouse can even be virtual. With the multiple warehouse location feature enabled, you can configure multiple locations in each warehouse to best fit the logistics for your business. You can reserve specific locations for sales, receipts or returns. To create similar setup of locations in multiple warehouses, you can export the location table to an Excel file and import the settings from the file to the same or another warehouse. By using the location entry settings on the warehouse form, you can specify whether locations can be added only by using the warehouses form or added on the fly as users enter inventory documents. If the allow on the fly entry option is selected, new locations entered on the fly during data entry will also appear in the warehouse location table with the default settings, which you can modify later if needed. So let's go and add a new warehouse. In MOB Advanced, you can usually copy a record and then paste the copied information to a new record. If you want to add a warehouse, one of the easiest ways to do this is to copy an existing warehouse and then change the details. In your MOB Advanced system, navigate to Inventory, Profiles and click on Warehouses. Now click on Add New Record. In the Warehouse ID field, search for the warehouse you would like to copy. On the form toolbar, copy the warehouse by selecting the copy function under the clipboard icon. Now add a new warehouse by selecting the add icon on the form toolbar. In the class ID, type the new warehouse name. Now go to the form toolbar and paste the copied warehouse by selecting the paste function under the clipboard icon. Change the description to the new warehouse and remember to save your changes once you are done. On the warehouse form, some of the important fields are freeze inventory when PI count is in data entry state. You tick this checkbox if you want the inventory in the warehouse to be frozen during the physical counting and data entry stages of the physical inventory. Location entry. This is an option that controls where you add warehouse locations. You will be able to choose between do not allow on the fly entry. This means that you can only add a location by adding a location on the location table on the warehouse form. If you try to enter a location on an inventory document, example transfer, you will get the following error. Warn but allow on the fly. With this option, you can enter new locations on any inventory document, but a warning will display before the new location is added. And finally, allow on the fly entry. With this option, you can enter new locations on any inventory document or on any location table on the warehouse form. On the location table tab, you can add new locations and modify existing ones. The tab includes a table that holds the list of locations and an area where you can select the receiving, dropship, shipping and return material authorization locations. Some of the fields will not display if the feature is not enabled on the Enable Disabled feature form. If we go to the Warehouse Location tab, you will have the following options. Cost separately. You can choose whether costs will be calculated separately from the system level. Pick priority. This is the priority of this location when items are chosen, where 1 is the highest and 0 means that there isn't any pick priority. The primary item validation. If you want to validate the primary item, you can choose from the following options. 
no validation, primary item warning, primary item error, primary item class warning, and primary item class error. This concludes our training video on warehouses and warehouse locations. Please let us know with your feedback and please join us again for more as we explore MYB Advanced through our training videos. Thank you for watching.